So the other day I was at work and it was time for lunch. My friend Haley said, oh, I'm so sick of eating salad. I've been eating salad for four days. I said, why are you eating salad for four days? Well, I'm broke. I didn't have any money to buy real food. Honey, let me tell you something. Just because you're broke does not mean you have to eat salad for four days. There's nothing wrong with salad, but you don't have to eat it every meal for four days just because you're broke. So Haley gave me a budget for this episode. Ten bucks a meal. Believe me, you can cook some great food for ten bucks a meal. So, you know what we're going to do? We're going to go shopping. So let's go shopping. Ah, produce. Be vegetarians. Don't get me started on the freaking vegans. Hello and welcome once again to Cooking Under the Influence with me, your host and chef du jour, I am Sean. Alright, so we have a budget. Ten dollar American. Haley, you probably think that you're limited to salad, but you're not. Instead of doing just one meal for ten bucks, I'm going to do three meals for ten bucks. That's three in sign language. Before we start cooking, as all good chefs know, we need a drink. Today's drink is gin martinis. I know I said I, like, I prefer vodka martinis, so I guess I'll just have to suffer through gin martinis. I know it's tragic. Cooling technique, ice in the glass to chill our, our glass down. Whoops. Spill your vermouth on the floor. Boom. Dash of it. Keep your vermouth in the fridge, because it's a wine-based drink. It'll spoil. Get some good gin, not crappy gin. Shake it up, baby! And cocktail onions. It goes so good with the gin. And pour and enjoy. I'll, I'll make the sacrifice. All right, let's get cooking. The whole chicken for five bucks. Awesome. First thing we're gonna do is chicken. Look, I got a whole chicken. This takes the longest. We're gonna do the chicken in the crock pot. You can do it in the oven if you want. Inside your chicken. And we got your chicken neck. We got your, well this is the liver, I don't know what this organ is, it's something that falls on the ground. And you got your chicken heart to make gravy with. Take all your extra guts and stuff, throw them in the crock pot. Take your chicken. That's what we get for trying to be fancy schmancy. All right, in this episode of Cooking Under the Influence, we're going to assume you have a modicum of ingredient, of spices and stuff at home. Like you didn't just move into a new house and there's nothing there. A little bit of olive oil. Let's add some garlic. Fresh ground pepper. So it makes a nice little crust on the chicken. If you're smart enough to have taken my example, you've planted a few herbs and vegetables out in the yard or in the windowsill. Get some fresh rosemary. You can just toss the rosemary in there. Sometimes I'll put the rosemary under the skin of the chicken. Cover it up and let it sit. It's going to take about at least four hours. So while that, the chicken's doing, let's cook our other meals. Catfish. Oh, that's some good stuff. Thank you very much. We got us some catfish. We got three nice fillets of catfish right there. Let's preheat our oven. Because I'm smart. Their olive oil again onto our new technology, grill it. Spread that around a little bit. If you don't have to use catfish, you can use any kind of fish that you got, whatever. And we're gonna do some corn muffins too. This is supposed to have at 400. So we'll raise the temp of the oven to 400 because we bought a head for a change. Salt, pepper, and garlic. You can never go wrong with salt, pepper, garlic. Flip it over, we're gonna do both sides, coat them both nicely. You can fry your catfish. If you want to learn how to fry catfish, go look at my fried eggplant video or my Parmesan video. I fry all kind of crap up in there. Get yourself some milk. Whole milk, please. Don't forget your milk. Whole milk. And a third of a cup of milk. That's about that much. Measure carefully. An egg. Egg's one of the things I'm going to assume you have at least one of in your refrigerator. Going to be a little lumpy. 
I thought I had a muffin pan, I don't. This might turn out to be like a corn muffin pancake. Oh, I know what to do. Another box of corn muffins. Just make a big old cake for me. So now it's like two corn muffin pancakes on top of each other. I'm just gonna put a little pat of butter on top of each fish thing. Oh, it's beeping! All right, so we're gonna pop both those in the oven so they can cook at the same time. A little bit of water. In this case, I'll let you use pre-ground pepper. Go some nice and mustard greens. All right, we'll get a big bunch of mustard greens. Mustard greens? Now look at me, you're the one who's broke. This stuff is good. How do you think I learned to cook? Because I was broke. And I can't afford to go out all the time and eat stuff. You find a remarkable improvement in your budget when you start cooking at home. Alright, like so many greens, mustard greens turn to freaking nothing. So prepare yourself for disappointment. Oh, it's time. Check it out, baby! Oh, don't sing. If you want to add some, like, bacon or something, that would be awesome. Pork and greens is just Maybe because it rhymes with pork and beans. You know our hot pepper vinegar? Oh baby. You know our gin? Oh baby. Never drink with any gin. You wouldn't cook in mustard greens. Or something. Catfish. Remember the Parmesan episode? I still had some Parmesan cheese left. Let's just put a little bit of Parmesan on top of our catfish. Gin martinis kick your butt. Wow. All right, that's done. Catfish, cornbread, and a bunch of collard greens. Under 10 bucks. Go for it. Had a little nap. Yes, this looks like the mustard green pot, but I cleaned it. Get us some vegetable stock. You don't have to use vegetable stock. You can use beef stock, chicken stock, pork stock, I don't care. Get us a couple of potatoes, about a pound of potatoes. Some potatoes, 99 cents a pound. Peel said potatoes. Let's dice said potatoes. The opposite sides of dice always add up to the number six. You do not have to get the opposite sides of your potatoes to add to the number six. That would really be a pain in the butt. Yeah, add our potatoes to the vegetable stock, obviously. A nice bunch of broccoli. Got our nice broccoli that we got at the store. Alright, don't forget our basic spices. Garlic, salt, pepper. Turn on the A track. Stop singing. You know you're not supposed to sing. Ever since that last video, I have Hedwig and the Angry Inch stuck in my head. I'm pulling the wig down from the shelf. This is the inadvertently musical episode. Nice and thick. Now we're going to put a broccoli in there. We'll get some mushrooms too. Don't forget your mushrooms. Hey, I'm a fun guy. Put your fun guys in the soup here. Shakespeare never wrote plays for vegetables. You know what won't hurt? Olive oil. I've got cocktails. I've got mushrooms. Who could ask for anything more? Stop singing. Get up a frying pan. Let's pop some oil in there. That's how we roll. And this is how we roll. Definitely get your rolling. My other friends were chopped up and put in soup. Uh. Ah! Don't drop it. Put it in carefully. That's just disaster waiting to happen. Got you some bread. Bunch of bread. Good stuff. It looks great. And it's all vegetarian. So there, I got a vegetarian dish. It might even be vegan, I don't know. 
I don't know about vegan people. I just know that they piss me off. But look, we can make it not vegan anymore and put some cheese in there. I lost the video with the soup and the uh, mushroom sandwich. It was a great mushroom sandwich. Mayonnaise, Dijon mustard, that big old grilled portobello, awesome. So broccoli and mushroom soup. Get you a portobello sandwich to go on the side. I'm doing good. All right, one more dish. Get our potatoes. Remember our potatoes? Some potatoes, 99 cents a pound. Into the water. Burl. Let's put a little another pot on there. Carrots are cheap. Carrots. Two for three bucks. Ooh, you know carrots would have been good in the soup too. With the potatoes. Oh. Refill. Alright, that's like four carrot sticks, which is tons. You sense a recurring theme in my spices here, garlic pepper salt. Those are the spices you need to invest in. Garlic pepper salt. Oh look, I found a half an onion laying around in the bottom of my fridge. It's lonely. Let's do something with it. Food that comes from the bottom of your fridge is free. Onion. When you touch them, they turn into fluff. They're done. Back in the pot. Stick a butter. Real butter and whole milk. Real butter. Don't forget your milk, whole milk. Even though they're using the same spices, they carry a whole different tone depending on what meat or vegetable or whatever you're seasoning. Tone. Another musical reference. My garlic seems to have disappeared from the physical realm and I can't do anything about that. You can buy a box of mashed potatoes, but this is so easy and delicious. Remember our chicken? From way back in the beginning. Oh. Oh geez, the only problem with this is it just totally falls apart. It is so tender. All that chicken all just falling apart. Oh god. Mmm. Alright, there's a bunch of liquid in the crock pot. Oh shit, here's my garlic. How is it in the pot cabinet? Alright, if you're fortunate enough to have a little bit of flour in your cabinet. Let's add a little bit of flour or chicken liquid. So your gravy's done. All you gotta do is thicken it up with some, with some flour. We got our chicken, which is flipping, just coming apart. Look, boom. Mashed potatoes, carrots. Freaking wonderful. All right, Haley, quit eating salad four days in a row for every friggin' meal. We got tons left over. There's tons of chicken, tons of potatoes. We got so many more carrots, all that soup, fish galore. Believe me, it is worth it to spend 10 bucks on a meal because you're going to be eating not just one. All right, everybody, thank you for watching. Bon appetit. Next episode, German shit.